I'm Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show here with Rick Wallace and Tick Maynard has just joined us at the Ocala Jockey Club. Uh, we're upcoming for the international three-day event and the incredible thing about this event, it's not just top equestrians from all around the globe, it is uh, also lots of entertainment, um, kids events, kids zone, uh, lots of incredible um, exhibitions to watch and one of them will be Tick and Quinn and um, we're thrilled actually to have Quinn here. Uh, what, do you th what, what do you think about this weekend, Quinn? Um, yeah, like, can I, no, uh, you can't eat this microphone, it's not mine. <laughs> Tick, tell us about this weekend. Well, I'm excited about this weekend. I'm not competing this weekend. I did last year, but um, I'll be here supporting my wife. Um, she'll be here in the uh, two star or the three star. I, I mix up all the stars. <laughs> and uh, I've got His wife is a star, period. Sinead. Supporting the star. <laughs> She's the big one. Yeah, yeah. And this is actually one of her horses that uh, I'm lucky enough to get to ride a little bit lately. And, and um, one of the things I really like to do is do a lot of groundwork with my horses. So I'm going to use this horse. I'm going to come in here and show the people what I'm doing on Saturday afternoon. I think right before, right after your daughter. Is that right? Yeah, that's, yeah you are. Yeah. I think you're right before yeah. or after. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You so it's, not, it's nice that they gave us this time to come in here and practice a little bit. And uh, I've got my buddy Jake Birnbaum, uh, who's here helping me a little bit. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll be, get to show a little bit of liberty work where I take, you know, I'll take them, let, the, let go of the halter, let go of the rope, take that off and have them work around here a little bit and see if we can have some fun. That's very cool. Yeah. So how old is Quinn? He's seven. He's imported from Ireland and he's uh, born and raised and trained to be an event horse. And uh, he's doing really well. He's competing at the training level. He's won, a, he's won a few events. He actually won last weekend at Majestic Oaks. And uh, hopefully he'll be here competing uh, next year. Beautiful. Tell us, uh, how long does it take you to get him to uh, work with you without a halter with, with, uh, at Liberty? Ooh, good question. Uh, it really depends on the horse and uh, also depends on the space and the situation. I mean, a lot of horses, you can do that in one or two days. Um, but as the space gets bigger, it gets harder. As you've got grass, it gets harder. As you've got distractions, it gets harder. You know, so I've been doing some serious groundwork with this horse for, you know, a few months, you know, once or twice a week for a few months. Uh, but now really, like, since we're doing this demo, just uh, really working towards liberty in a big space, just a few days. So it's going to be kind of touch and go whether I take the rope off on Saturday. You guys got to come out and, and see. Oh, we'll be watching. Yeah. We'll be watching, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll be get, bringing the horse back for me. From, <laughs> from somewhere. <laughs> no, I've been watching Tick for years several years he's pretty impressive just to talk to him and hear his stories is amazing too i think he has a book i do have um, a book so the read it? yeah of course i've read it you uh, give me uh, you've given that. me three yeah, well, <laughs> that's the only way i get people to read it i keep giving them coffees but it's fun to read his book and just know the people that are in it and knowing him now personally it's really cool to understand what he did and where he went and then he came back and of course and accumulated into him marrying one of the best beautifulest women in the world uh Sinead and I told her the other day she unfortunately came off in the water at Rocking Horse but the pictures that came out of it I'm like you know those Chanel commercials that those beautiful women she looked beautiful taking, with taking like mud bath yeah right? with a beautiful one like with mud all over skin good for the I complexion perfume <laughs> Chanel Sinead yeah Chanel Sinead that's it we're going to call her that but what a great family they got an amazing child uh, that's a super personality and you know they're great people it's great having them as friends so that is little Brooks and uh, that is in the middle of the horsemen what a what great uh, yeah what a what a great book that 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 really is uh, it's incredible and uh, and lots of challenges and things but you've had a lot of learning experiences that have brought you to the point of not just being a good eventer but working with these horses and it's wonderful I think for people on the outside of the school who are, and we were just talking about this who may be a little bit intimidated by uh, by the sport or even uh, coming to be a spectator because they think I don't really know much about eventing but I think things like Elisa with the Mustangs you here with Quinn brings it down to a level where people get to see the horse almost as a I don't want to say a pet exactly but a pet really because it, it's an animal that obviously trusts you and loves you so that kind of qualifies it you know as a uh, and it makes a horse in my opinion to the outside world more like a big dog to people like a, and like a partner you yeah. know like a you know somebody that you can go out there and there's a back and forth yeah. with with. Yeah. yeah, and I think for anybody that's thinking about coming out, I also, uh, there's going to be some good food trucks here. <laughs> 
That's going to be one of the highlights for me. <laughs> we love we good love food it. talks. Yes, we do. Um, so, Quinn, uh, how long have you been working with Quinn outside of eventing? So, on the ground like this. So, um, I started both uh, around the same time. He was already eventing a little bit with my wife when I took over the ride. So, uh, you know, when I get horses, often I'll do that is I'll start riding them and, you know, I'll ride them three or four days a week. And then I'll also work with them on the ground one or two days a week. And so, they both kind of start at the same time. And I've been uh, working with them for about a year. Wonderful. So, what might we see in your demo on Saturday? Well, well, hopefully we'll see uh, some of the draw that I'm working on. And what the draw means is like a lot of horses are drawn back to the stable or drawn back to their friends or drawn back to their stall. And I want to create a lot, of, a lot of draw on me so that when he comes out here, if he gets nervous, if there's, you know, flags or people watching that he has the draw to me, like the way that a horse, you know, a, a foal would be drawn to the mare. And uh, once, you know, once I've established that, then we're going to start to work on the communication a little bit. Like at Liberty, can he back up? Can he come towards me? Can he lead on my left shoulder or my right shoulder? And then hopefully we'll get to see a little bit where he works around me on a circle. And at Liberty, that's one of the hardest things. You know, it's one thing to send a horse. It's another thing to draw a horse. But on a circle, you've, you've got to be able to send them without them leaving and draw them without them coming all the way to you. So it's a pretty fine balance there. It's pretty fun once you get to yeah, start start getting them to that level. I yeah. hope he does that for you. Well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> time will tell. Time will tell. Suspense. I know. So what time Saturday will, will you be out here? Well, Rick might have a better answer to that than me, yeah, right? I, I, and I can't off the top of my head if I were to have my note. Around 12, 12.10 12, yeah. or 12.15, 12, so around, around lunchtime. During, uh, the cross country is running also, but I think there's some breaks in the cross country as yeah, well. And, yeah. and it's it's beneficial to come and watch all of this. So if people are going that you don't, need to have to see or you don't you want to come and watch this you should come and watch Absolutely. and get both a taste of all the stuff that's going on makes total sense and that can all be found at ojcde.com 3de.com ojc3de.com all the times information's on there but if you're hanging around here around lunchtime around the food trucks which I would recommend. Um, you can get to watch Tick in action as well as Elisa, of course, with her Mustangs. I think that's exciting. Quinn, do you want to come over and have a last word? Um, perhaps there's a cookie involved or something. Um, we could. Here's the draw. I say, I say, oh, somebody likes you. No, I think he just wants to cuddle uh, Quinn. Incredible uh, horse. He's a he's something else. What a beauty and uh, what a great horse. What a great job you've done, Tick. If you don't have Tick's book, you need it. Book, you can get his book. Uh, probably if you come and find him, he'll autograph it for you. I'm quite sure. And then you'll have the real deal. So uh, here with uh, top equestrian and eventer Tick Maynard. His wife, Sinead, is competing this weekend. Hopefully we don't get a repeat of the Chanel in the water, although I hear it was beautiful. Um, somebody could probably yeah, use that. But for that one. <laughs> That's done. Sinead, you're with that one. That's one and done. I am Louisa Varton here with uh, Rick Wallace at the Ocala Joffrey Club, ready for the international three-day event an Olympic qualifier this weekend. We're excited. We hope you'll be here to see all of the uh, great thrill, the exciting jump, uh, incredible jump. Cross country is phenomenal and the exhibitions that we're going to have out here uh, in the ring for you will be absolutely phenomenal and knock your socks off. Make sure you're here.